Welcome to the metaverse. Would you like to play a game? Hey, are you coming? Yeah, just gotta find something to wear. Hey, it's me, Happy Halloween, and while we're technically not really going to be playing any games today, I am instead going to show you how you can profit from the new virtual gaming slash metaverse slash NFT trend. Gosh, this mask actually hurts my face. Anyhow, before I begin, do me a very quick favor by gently smashing the like button for the YouTube algorithm, and also consider subscribing to my channel for more cutting edge videos just like this one. Plus, you can check out my investing channel for additional insights as well. And with that, let's get started with the video. So with Facebook rebranding as meta, as well as their increased focus and commitment to virtual reality, metaverses, and gaming, we actually saw a lot more mainstream attention on this trend as well as at the same time, uh, a lot of the cryptocurrencies that are involved in or support uh, these virtual reality metaverses get a huge surge in prices. But altcoin speculation is not going to be the focus of today's video. And so let's go ahead and check out some of the other potential opportunities for making money, especially with metaverses becoming more prominent in the future. So first of all, I just want to quickly mention something I covered in one of my recent videos, which is the sandbox metaverse, which is based primarily on NFT technology, as well as people being able to zone into this so-called sandbox metaverse and use their NFTs to trade and buy land and play games and even create their own avatars and own assets and NFTs and pieces of land to monetize, such as by creating games and amusement parks and things like that and getting people to pay for it. Or you can actually use their um, creator software, which are free and this is exactly what I covered in my tutorial and I'll link it down below how you can use this free software by the way called Vox Edit which also has its own templates and very easy tutorials for you to create these um, sometimes animated uh, 3D voxels so to speak which are these 3D uh, block looking models that are like Minecraft models and by the way I think Minecraft uh, models or ones that you created as an NFT can actually be used in this editor as well or be sold on this marketplace and so anything you create or any NFT you create using voxel edit you can actually sell on the sandbox marketplace as you can see there are a lot of NFTs that are for sale so these are these 3d voxel NFTs um, and you can also sell them on OpenSea which is one of the more popular or most popular rather marketplaces for you know buying and selling and trading NFTs and so if you're interested go ahead and check out my video that I'll link below but for today we're actually gonna look at some additional opportunities also in this sort of metaverse uh, virtual reality trend especially if you get in pretty early right sort of like now so first of all let me actually take to say fiverr.com where um, by the way this is a freelancing marketplace where people can sell or buy you know services right for example if I type in VR you'll see an increased number of and sometimes people charging for a lot for just designing VR related assets and namely games and things like characters right today we're actually gonna focus on more like virtual reality worlds that you create or games more specifically and um, I'm gonna show you some easy ways with free software that you can do so and um, one such stuff software is actually also based on the sandbox platform but there are other options that are also free and um, perhaps more advanced that you can definitely branch into especially if you want to pursue this as a you know freelancer or even potentially get employed uh, in the future anyhow um, there's definitely huge huge potential for this especially again with like Facebook and other corporations getting in on this trend right and the metaverse being something that is actually really close on people's horizons which actually coincides with the rise in nft technology which allows people to have you know property in a digital space right so anyhow if i actually search up sandbox on fiverr you'll find a lot of additional gigs these are more up and coming but um, you can definitely start you know listing gigs if you have the skills to develop nft games um metaverse um based games in the sandbox and also characters and assets and things like that right and first so the first platform i want to show you is again from sandbox but instead of vox edit which again is covered in my other tutorial and it's for designing the actual assets you can actually use another uh, supplemental sort of platform which means these two platforms actually work together or these softwares actually can work together in that if you use the game maker instead and this is also free and they also have templates and it's very and it's very easy to use as I'll show you you can even create games for the sandbox um, and you can actually use Vox Edit to create assets for it, right? 
So um, by the way, just to quickly uh, mention this as well, Sandbox, in case you're not familiar, is also uh, very very prominent and almost mainstream with you know high profile celebrities like Dead Mouse, Snoop Dogg, as well as brands like The Walking Dead, Atari, um, endorsing it and actually owning land within this metaverse. So this is definitely, in my opinion, um, something or a platform with high potential, especially since there will be intercompatibility with different metaverses. So we have things like Decentraland and Facebook's right their own metaverses there's going to be a lot of interchangeability or rather you can actually uh, for example your assets your characters can actually traverse between these different metaverses which makes them all the more relevant right which is likely the reason that with Facebook announcing their you know new focus and branding or rather their you know new name um, that's why so many of these you know metaverse tokens right because they're all backed by cryptocurrency technology and tokens like sandbox for example is backed by the sand token um, many of these cryptocurrencies actually saw an incredibly huge surge with just that facebook announcement right showing that again there is mainstream attention and real applications with this all right so jumping right into the sandbox game maker we first of all um, you can see that there are three tabs at the top you basically want to start with templates and on which the first page is mostly for um, the types of games that there are which you can start with but I actually suggest doing and this could actually be really helpful but um, you actually have to build out like the environment yourself but if you prefer you can actually go to page two and for this, or here, there are actually lots of these environments that you can then build your games off of, right? So it is sort of whichever one you want to start with, and you can easily incorporate either after you started one of them. And another thing you can do before you start is to check out their gallery, which is at the top right tab here, where you can see where people have made um, games that you can actually play and try out and just see you know how people have done things and stuff like that right and there are actually some recent ones like these like Halloween themed it being Halloween today so I actually might try playing some of these games later they actually look fun right so um, using sandbox the game maker is actually very intuitive and I believe it's also very fun as well right sort of similar to again Minecraft um, and also uh, games like um, what's the other game called So now that we're in my game that I previously sort of set up, um, let me just show you some of the basics and most important things to do or that you can do. And it's again very intuitive. So first to move around you can hold the middle mouse button to move. You can scroll in and out using again your mouse. And if you want to rotate just hold alt and then just you know click left click. Um, right click does this sort of panning but if you left click it spins around like this and if you uh, hold the middle mouse button it sort of moves your screen right and I can zoom in again so with that let's actually zoom all the way back to um, my original starting campsite so to speak to show you how some of the game or editor mechanics work so first of all, I want to select. You want to select um, the selection tool on the left here, which is the indicated by this little arrow. And um, with that, I can start. Um, if you want to create assets or add, you know, objects onto your, you know, canvas or your, you know, plot of land here, you want to go to the bottom. And um, first of all, you can actually hotkey, you know, commonly used assets. Right. For example, at number six, we have like water. Right. So I can add in these cubes of water. Um, if I right click, I can actually dig holes and then uh, and then I can left click to add my water in right so that's sort of the basics of adding these block shaped um, objects and I can just control Z to undo whatever I've made and so what you would mostly do with this is to add assets as well as set rules and create quests for people to sort of play the game right and first of all in terms of assets again we have the bottom bar here where you can set the you know hotkeys for ones that you use frequently or if you pull up this tab you can actually get access to a whole bunch of different ones right they just have a ton of these different characters you know plots of you know types of land um, blocks as well as plants buildings etc etc right just a ton of different stuff that you can go wild with um, for example, I can just click on any of these and just to place them, you know, in my environment here, right? I can just uh, even add, you know, things that I can interact with or that, you know, for example, will attack me. Say this annoying goblin here, if I just add a few 
right here for me to or for people to play with or to fight you know these could be just really cool things a bunch of different types of things that you can add anyhow uh, just to show you how questing works or creating a quest works let me actually click on rules on the top here and notice how well ba basically besides the quest everything i just have toggled on um, and then in terms of the quest which is the second column here you can just click on well first of all you can click on add quests and there are different types of quests you can make right so for example i have one here called defeat the wolf and you actually have to write the description to tell people or players what to do, right? So here I have again, defeat the wolf. Um, the other stuff I can instead as um, unlock. But for number three, quest type, this is very important because it sets the type of quests obviously that you want to do, right? So you can do counter, which is, for example, collecting X amount of things or killing X amount of things. Uh, if I, for example, if I do counter, I can just select collected objects or deaths, which is, you know, killing stuff. But in this case, I just want to do acid death which is basically killing something to complete the quest, right? And then you have to also select the asset to watch, which is what exactly are you killing here to complete your quest? So I'm gonna select type in and then select wolf because that'll be the objective of my quest. And then I just need to have the corresponding asset within my environment to make this quest, right? So here, as you can see, I already have a wolf. I can select it. On the far right here, you can actually set the attributes, which um, none of them are very important except for the behavior and the components, right? So let me actually show you components first. Uh, let me see, okay, I need to open up behavior. And then under behavior, we have components. Uh, components will help you set what this object can do, right? So if I just uh, uh, delete the ones I have, just to start from scratch, if I click on add component, I can do, let's see, I can do defeat. And this allows this thing or this object to be killable, basically. And I can click for defeat condition, you wanna do on death. And then um, aside from this, this is very important as well. If you wanna make something that's actually, you know, you can fight and kill, you also wanna add health, right? So you wanna click on add component, health. And this will actually set a limited health pool so that the asset or the wolf here becomes killable. All right, and that's basically that. And then um, I can actually just demo my game for you really quick by clicking on play. So you can always just test out your, your assets and your game by just clicking on play. And notice how I have my avatar here. I can swing my sword. Um, I can attack these annoying goblins um, and kill them. And then um, there's the wolf. He's running away. Uh, let me actually show you these goblins here. Uh, see, they're actually hostile. Uh, they can actually attack me. So I can, I can just kill them real quick. I can cleave them down. Uh, these don't complete any quests because I haven't set any. But let me just go back to the wolf here and uh, here, right? So um, I can also set it as like a predator for it to attack me, but I currently haven't. So, you know, that's something that you can do to make it more interesting. Oh, it actually is attacking me. Okay, anyway, I can attack this, kill it. And as you can see, it says game over because I've completed the quest, right? So that's basically a very simple way to, uh, a simple overview of how to do quests. And just real quick for another example, um, notice how on my canvas here, I have these like, if I just zoom in, I have these like gold, uh, oopsie daisy, I have these gold piles um, on the floor here or on the ground, which actually are an object objective of another quest, right? So if I click on rules again, go to my first quest here. Um, for this one, I have collect five treasure piles. And then here under quest type, I have counter, which is, you know, how to accumulate a certain number of things, in this case, collected objects. And then um, the objects I'm specifically collecting are called or tagged with quest item, right? You just write in whatever name you want. In this case, I've called it quest item. So let me close that out. And then if I just click on any of these gold piles, um, whoops, okay, I'm not selecting it. There we go. So if I select any of these gold piles, you'll see on the far right that I've also tagged it under tags, right? Um, I've actually named it something specific being a quest item, right? So again, you can add it right here. And so this makes the, um, each of these, I have to do it for each one, right? But anyway, by typing in quest item to match my quest text here or my quest settings here, um, this allows these items to be uh, collectible and fulfill my you know quest criteria, right? So if I click on play again, I can show you, uh, if I just run through, on the far right, you'll see my quest objectives. Um, and shortly, yeah, there we go. We have collect five treasure piles, even though I've only put it to them four. Uh, but anyway, if I just collect them, see, no one notice how the quest is progressing as I've collect as I'm collecting these uh, treasure piles. So that's another way you can do, you know, a different type of quest. And there's a stupid goblin attacking me again. Only, it's only game. Why you have to be mad? 
So that was the basic gist behind the Sandbox Game Maker. Again, if you want to learn more about it, they have their own tutorials on their website and you can find videos, you know, elsewhere on YouTube and on Google as well. And if, you're, um, if you've done Minecraft before and it's a popular game, right, you can even import your work from that platform, right? So this is very cool because of, again, that sort of interchangeability or the ability to sort of extend into different games and different metaverses, um, which is why I'm so bullish on Sandbox. And in terms of how you can monetize the skill and you know the virtual worlds and games that you create or even the virtual assets is first of all the sandbox is still in beta and you can actually sign up for an account and opt in to be able to play the game but if you want an actual example of a you know working metaverse you can actually check out Decentraland which is another one but anyhow sandbox um, in terms of their games you can not only play the games yourselves or other people's games or earn rewards like NFTs or cryptocurrency but you can also again build your own games and monetize them and also create assets and sell them um, and for the games especially if you own land on the sandbox and it's definitely not cheap but there should be other ways for people to you know monetize their games aside from owning a pot of land but in other, but anyway, in essence, you can actually, in the future, you should be able to, if you build out good games and popular games, um, you can perhaps sell them or, you know, collect money from them for people to be, or, you know, for people to be able to play them. Now, aside from this, you can obviously go on to freelancing platforms like Fiverr. Um, and again, this is more of a newer thing, so the demand may not be that high just yet, but again, if you're able to get in really quickly, or early rather and learn the skill and develop the skill you could actually be one of the first people uh, one of the first major players and freelancers in this space right not only necessarily on Fiverr and not only necessarily with the sandbox um, but also with just designing you know virtual reality in general right or even on websites like Upwork where you can find perhaps even more you know lucrative employment opportunities Anyhow, other than that, um, other than the sandbox, another platform that you can strongly consider that is a bit more advanced, but is also um, incredibly, I suppose, popular, uh, is Unity, and um, it's powered by Unreal Engine or Epic Games, which is a company, a gaming company. But they've created this free platform for people to, if I just scroll down, um, download and use to develop games with, and you know, more recently, virtual realities and metaverses. You can download it for free as you can see here and get every feature um, and this is a very popular platform because many AAA, you know, big popular games on like Steam and whatnot, PC games especially, are actually designed using the software, right? And they've actually updated, updated it to make it very, very, um, uh, I guess, functional and robust. You can look at their demos. Um, it's definitely a platform of the future or like you know the near future because the future is pretty much now um, that you can that you'll do very well to learn and sort of master and be able to provide services for it right it'll definitely be in huge huge demand um, and here again you can download it you can get you know um, you can even you know license out your uh, let's see okay so you can download your stuff you can pick the license you want but you can start for free right and you can only you only have to get you know you only need to give them a bit of royalty when your product succeeds or is sold right so you don't have to worry about paying anything when you're starting out and you can definitely you know use this opportunity to learn the unity or the unreal engine rather the unreal engine platform first right and again there are tons of tutorials for this online for free as well and speaking of unity this is yet another free and very mainstream platform that you can attempt to master uh, for again creating these virtual reality metaverse nft type spaces and applications and um, this is also a publicly traded company so it's definitely very legit and again you can definitely just start for free um, learn it with all the free tutorials and also courses that you can find online and on their own website you can actually find you know they have their own course catalog you want to do something more technical uh, specific and technical if say you're targeting a specific type of job um, you know or want to apply to something related to some of these skills that you might learn from any of these courses that they provide right but again you can definitely learn a lot of this um, you know from various free sources on the internet as, as well and besides that you can even get licensure or certification from unity themselves when you meet a certain checkpoint or rather when you pass their test right and so for example you can start with being a certified user um, you know this is actually you know even high schoolers can can get certified so they have a variety of levels and you have you know associate professional so you can definitely go through some of the courses that they have, you know, maybe some of the free courses online, you can take their test and if you get certified, this will really greatly increase the opportunity and 
on your resume, you can actually show it off on whatever you know job platforms, freelancing platforms that you're you're using to definitely secure or, or be more likely to secure. Uh, a, you know some work and also get paid more and that is all I want to showcase in today's video before you go though consider checking out my additional tutorials on nfts crypto and even more stuff in the description box below as well as my completely free youtube guide on my website as well as my more advanced youtube course which has a couple of free video lessons that you can check out and all this is in the description box um, with that thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next video peace